I don't know how to thank you for all that you've done for me so far. I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? You see, when I go back through the years, all the menial jobs, toiling, the hardship. I can't stop thanking Mr. Boko for giving me the opportunity to supply some items to your father's company when he was a chief accountant. Kevin, all that is in the past. You see, Rosie, the past is the bedrock of the future. I will remain eternally grateful to Mr. Buko for giving me the job of the accounts manager in your father's company. Without that job, I wouldn't have met you found the happiness that I have today. Destiny brought us together. And nothing would put us apart. Oh, Kevin. You're so romantic. never cease to surprise me. And I'll continue to surprise even more because I'm taking you out tonight for a celebration. Mm -hmm. And guess where? Can't guess. Catacomb restaurant. Ooh la la! I booked a table for two. Uh oh, that's lovely. No wonder you lured me away from the office. Yes, yes. Uh. I also wanted to show you how much I love you. You see, since I found you, Rosie, it has been one large, huge, unparalleled happiness and joy. And I pray that it continues to be like that forever. Is that a proposal? Interrupting something? Mm, mm, not really. Uh, Linda, can I get you something to drink? No, thanks. I came to give Rosalind a message. In that case, both of you would have to excuse me. Quiet. Darling, uh, I have to get dressed for the evening. Mm -hmm. All right. See you. <laughs> then I'll, uh, I hope this thing is not getting too far. Linda, you have to be careful of what you say. Besides, I don't know why you never liked Kevin. Look, Kevin is... Not that I don't like him. I don't just trust him. In six months, he has worn his way into your life just like that. Everything he has is through you. And here you are preaching love. I think he's after something else. Linda. That he's from a poor background does not mean he's a gold digger. What else can you say about him? What else do you know about him? You don't even know where he comes from. You don't know what his background is like. I... I... Enough, please, enough. Linda, listen to me. 
and listen real good. If you are my friend, you had better stop insinuating all this rubbish. Look, whatever must have happened in his past, it's immaterial. I don't care. I love him so much. I love him for who he is and not what he is. I love him deeply. And I love him enough to marry him. Okay? <laughs> I hope you won't regret this in future. I don't think so. I know exactly what I'm doing. I hope so. So, what is the message? Anyway, your father said I should remind you to confirm the arrangement for the opening of the credit book for the parts supplier in Korea and that the money has been transferred into domiciliary account. Yes, he told me this morning and I'll do that tomorrow. Well, if you excuse me, Kevin and I are going out. I will. I will. But be careful. Don't worry. And take good care of myself. Bye. Thanks. Bye. I guess she doesn't like me, does she? Ah, please don't worry. She'll get over it. They don't know you like I do. See, not even your father approves of the relationship. Oh. I don't know what to do. No. Daddy will come around. He will do anything for me. Celebration.
of months. What's the position? I'm sorry, Chief. There was nothing we could do. They were both dead on arrival. They both had multiple internal injuries and there are no vital signs. As for your daughter, she had severe trauma and head injuries. I want to see the body. Get your mortician to prepare them for burial immediately. Mike, arrange a quiet burial first in tomorrow. Get, get a casket and other burial requirements. Them buried immediately. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter cannot stand the mortuary for one second. next of kin immediately.
God, I mean, why must I suffer this punishment? You took her mother away from me just five years ago. Now you snatch Rosalind in her prime of life. Why is it just blossoming? God. Are you punishing me for my past deeds, God? Why didn't you just take me instead of her, God? Why? Why, God? Why? <clears throat> Chill. I, I think you should take it easy, Chill. Because grieving like this will not bring her back. The good Lord giveth, Chill. And the good Lord taketh. All right, my girl. Life goes on. That was my ghost would have wanted. Mike. That's true. You have been my trusted right hand since your father passed away. Thank you, Chief. Um, Chief. I was thinking you should go to the office so you can get your mind off things while I go to the police station so I can get preliminary reports on um, the actual cause of the accident. Hmm. I want us to be sure. Good thinking, huh? Good thinking. Thank you, Chief. Tony. So. Tell the stewards to prepare my clothes. And call the office to me. A lot Linda that have been in soon. Yes, sir. Second to lose. Doctor, do you think you, you should give him one more injection? No. The overdose is only killing. Let's give him just one more minute. Doctor! Doctor! Kelvin, come on! Come on, Kelvin, come on! Kelvin, yes. Doctor. Yes. That's doctor, it. that's it. Doctor. Kelvin! He's coming to you, he's coming to you. Right. Kelvin. Bring him up, bring him up. Fast, fast, fast. <coughs> Did it go very smooth? Good. As planned just before the close of day. Good. I was able to process the check you brought, um, transfer the money into the domestic account, uh, with book or the chief accountant for his authorization. I was able to pay in the money into the second fake account. So it while you were fine. having your anniversary dinner, yeah. cash the money. Good. Well, One well, million US dollars. No sweat. Good. That's good. Now yeah. tell me, what about Rosalie? She's dead. Well, what a pity, what a waste. A necessary casualty, Kelvin. 
Come on, let's go. We have to move. Yes, hold it. Uh, take two of these. Yes. Every three hours. It will help dissolve any trace of the an anesthetic in your body. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. But thank you very much, all of you. Thank, thank you, sir. We'll all be adequately compensated. Thank you very all much, right, sir. Don't thank worry. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tell me. When? Right. Listen very carefully. Yes, 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 I have the money in the car. Good. You will use some of it to process our traveling papers That's to right. Europe. That's right. Okay. Good. The rest of it you will keep in the domiciliary account. We open the Lagos. Beautiful. But tell me, Murray. When do you hope to get into Lagos? Yeah, I have to be around for a while. Good. If Chief finds out the money is gone, he may put two and two together. So I have to cover our tracks. Good. Let's take care of business. <laughs> now listen to me, listen, listen. Leave no loose ends. Oh, come on, trust all right? me. Call me in two weeks' time, all right? Now, but if there are any problems, just in case there are any problems, call me at the pre-arranged hotel. You got my phone number. Very good, very good. There'll be no problems, girls. Yes. Look, I have to give them instructions. Okay, okay. Right. let's go. Let's go. Um, doctor. You know what to do with the other one. Let's do it fast. I'll have your money at the pre-arranged place. So you'll be there at 10 p.m. Good luck. Bye. Mike, you're late. We've been waiting here for over one hour. Not too long to wait for your fortune, Doctor. Uh -uh. What is this, Mr. Mike? Where is the money? This must be a joke. Look, we have no time for any monkey business here. Do you understand? Our money is $100,000, period. Remember, we promised. Better pearls and money. Monkeys don't make promises, Doctor. You know, you two have become liabilities. Loose ends that must be tied up. Apart from both of you, no one else knows the plan. <laughs> no! See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Bank and uh, the auditor are here to see you. They say he's very urgent. How's the man? Good day, sir. Good day, sir. This is Mr. McCray from our internal, de internal audit department. Uh, you are welcome. You. And I hope you have come to tell me that my letters of credit have been opened. Yes, I sir. have transferred all the necessary funds for the forex allocation. 
Yes, sir. I did it myself uh, when they come from uh, Rumogosi branch. You see, sir, everything was in order until this morning when we discovered an authorization signed by you and your chief accountant to transfer the foreign exchange to another account at the Borikiri branch. Uh, we thought it uh, unusual. Well, this is uh, actually unusual. You see, my daughter was supposed to have... Uh... Sorry, um... My daughter was killed in a motor accident last night. Sorry, sir. We didn't know this. Wait a minute, sir. You say your daughter was killed last night? Yes. Damn. It must have been after she signed this check, transferring the $1 million from the domiciliary account. And also this authorization. No, wait a minute. What's this? I didn't sign this. Now, wait a minute. I hope the money is still in the brokerage account. That's the problem, sir. This morning, we discovered the money was cashed last night in an unusual circumstance. What the hell do you think you are talking about? I mean, what the hell do you mean by that? Um, Linda. Linda. Yes, send in a buku. I mean, the chief accountant. Now. Dead or alive. Find him. Let me understand, sir. Are you saying you did not authorize the transfer of the bond? No! No, but no! I only instructed my daughter to make sure that two letters of credit were opened for payment to the suppliers in Korea. Yes. Yes, Buko, sir. Tell me, what happens to the money transferred to the domiciliary account? I did not sign this authorization, sir. This is even a copy of our old check, sir. Sir, this is for you, sir. Your daughter doesn't sign any authorization. I am asking you for the last time. How did one million dollars miss from my own account? Barely hours before my daughter's death. What? Chief! I did not sign any authorization, sir. Any authorization is usually countersigned by you. This is the first time I'm even hearing of this. There is another problem, sir. The bank manager of Rumobosi branch has not reported to work since that yesterday. And he is the person who authorized the transfer. Excuse me, excuse me. Let me understand you. You were saying the money disappeared after Kelvin and Rosalind's death? Yes, yes. And the bank manager is nowhere to be found, right? So who cashed the money? Chief, something is wrong somewhere. Yes. There is um, a foul smell in the air. Hope it doesn't have any link with my daughter's death. Well, I want a comprehensive uh, report on what happened to the money. Good day, gentlemen. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. As for you, you better start praying hard. Make sure that you're not involved in this rubbish. Let us find out how far and how deep the rot has set in. Good day, gentlemen.
How about giving me a ring one of these days? I mean, let's get to know each other better. Call me anytime. How? Right. Uh, just in case I want to meet you, how do I see you? Well, I actually stay in Ikeja, but you can come and look for me at my office. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now. Take care. Yes. Yes. Bye. Chief accountant of 20 years, Buko, could conspire with people to steal all I have. And that's not all. It's not impossible that in the process they killed my daughter. If that is true, if that is true, they shall feel unbearable pain before they die. The way I see it, Chief, someone else is masterminding this whole setup. I don't follow you, Mike. Think about it, Chief. First, the dollars get transferred to a fake account using forged authorization and a fake check. The money is cashed by unknown persons. And then the bank manager who authorized the withdrawal is missing. And then Rosalind. Rosalind dies in a mysterious car accident barely hours later. Chief, it, it doesn't fit. I see what you mean. Meanwhile, all my cash reserves are gone. Uh, Chief, meanwhile, all the persons involved in the movement of the money are either dead or have disappeared, apart from yourself and Mr. Buko. Everything points to Buko, Chief. He had access to everything. The bastard. The, the treacherous bastard. Chief, who stands to benefit if you go down in business? Badmas. Alfonso's Badmas. My informants tell me that on several locations last month, Buko was seen at Chief Badmas' guest house. Colin, go and find out how exactly Bad was involved. If he's involved in any way, take the boys and take him out instantly. Those no stories go terrible. Chief, why don't you get the police to know? No police. We shall fight this battle blood for blood. Man to man. You are involved in this set of bad moss. By dawn tomorrow, you will cease to exist.
Who did this? Chief Mercer's men, sir. Exactly what I told you, Chief. I knew that Chief Mensah would be accusing you of masterminding the death of his daughter. Arrange a meeting for the two of us at the usual place. But, Chief. Why don't we hit him back with no mercy instead of an ordinary meeting? Do exactly what I tell you. And don't make me repeat myself. Yes, sir. Casualties. What about your bad boys? There was a gun battle. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about Mike? He's dead. What? He was shot. I saw him fall down while running up to meet us. Nine years I have lived in Europe, oh. toiling and doing all sorts of menial jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From Germany to Holland, to London, to oh. Austria, to oh. Switzerland, oh. to America later. Oh. Oh. But finally, God has blessed me with some wealth. And uh, out of what God has given me, I have decided to show gratitude to the man who took care of me 
when my father died. I oh, want them. Uncle. This is the key to that Mercedes 230E automatic with food air condition. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. hey. It is yours, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Problem is I don't have anybody in Lagos. Since I got you, I would have got me a job there. Relax. I see. Ah, it's it's alright. It's okay. Um, very soon I intend to open up something in Lagos. And, well, I don't know if it's Lagos actually, but I intend to open something very very soon, and I'll come and take you to live with me. Okay. Lagos. Right. Lagos. You have to go to. Hey, I'll right. go to Lagos. Lagos. Thank you. Hey. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. 
You look radiant. Thank you. <laughs> so, what are you doing on alone here? Oh, well, reading and uh, reminiscing. About? <laughs> yeah, well, political issues and other things. So, tell me, what's up? Oh, no, so soon. Yes. No, Sandra. No, no. Why, why, the why? The duty calls. I have to see Mom before she starts getting worried. <sighs> okay, come. So, I must tell you something. I must thank you for making yesterday evening a memorable occasion. Oh, it's the same for me. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'll still come back later on today. Okay. But let me get home and see my junior once and leave something for them. All right. Oh, I get the door. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you didn't have a problem locating here. No, not with the detail that oh, you gave me about the lovely, 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 lovely. See, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Oh boy. Yeah. It's your cabal. It's your cabal, sir, too. My God. <laughs> come, 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 come. I wanted to meet um, Sandra. Sandra is my very special friend. Okay. <laughs> so Sandra, my brother Mike. <clears throat> Uh, just came in from Ghana, you know, on a business trip. How was your trip? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. See you. Bye, Bye now. <laughs> Nicolo Macchiavelli! Come on. Bro, you're crazy. Like a bullet, man. Like a bullet. Everything according to plan. Yes, man. man. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, I thought we agreed that, I mean, you were going to lie low until we leave this country. Kelvin, this, this is not what we ah, are. Listen, 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 chill out, man. Chill out! See, she was just a girl I met the other day. Look, mad Ruby. No, 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 it's not about the woman, Kelvin. Then what about? It's about the lavish lifestyle, oh. the cars. Kelvin, you are drawing attention to yourself. No, but Taco is not too far away. Chill. That's a chill. Cool down. Cool chill. Down. Cool down. You promised we agreed you were going to stay in the hotel and get in touch by phone. You moved out. That was not the plan. It was getting all the more suspicious. I mean, I had to find a base to operate from, man. I had to find a base. Look, forget about that. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, Mike. Sit down. So tell me, how is for Taco? Oh, Taco is great. Our tracks are wonderfully covered. Good. The doctor and the bank manager, out of the equation. Good. All fingers point to Buko. That's right. The chief accountant. That's right. And guess what? Yeah. <clears throat> I diverted the um, chief's attention to bad moths. You don't say. Ooh. Must be all out war in Port Harcourt right now. Nicolo Macchiavelli! Yo, man. I'm so excited. Um, what about plan B? Plan B. <sighs> Kelvin. Yeah. I faked my own death. Good. Look, as far as Chief Mesa is concerned right now, I am dead and disappeared. You're a ghost. <laughs> and that's another unanswered question. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is lovely. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. I can't even <laughs> honestly it's lovely. So tell me, um, what's the next move? Next move? Yeah. We get the money. We split and we're out of this country, Kelvin. For good. We're on the same, Mike. Um, I don't think I want to leave the country now. You see, I have one or two unfinished businesses. You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, I don't look, want to leave look, now. Look, look, that's your lookout, okay? Yeah. You give me my share of the money mm -hmm. and I split, okay? Look, if you want to commit suicide, I don't. If Chief Mensah finds out that you are still alive, Kelvin, he will haunt you wherever you go. A dog. Think about that, Kelvin. Okay. Let's go. Well, um, just give me some time to change to something else. I can't go to the bank like this. Kelvo. Mikolo Machiavelli. Kelvo.
Yeah, uh, Kelvin. Uh, what about my new passport and uh, travel papers? Oh, they are in the glove compartment. Oh. Not so easy. Kelvin. Kelvin, I hope I hope this is not an order of your job. Only please, job. Kelvin. Now turn around, you fool! Ah! Kelvin? Boy. Kelvin, why? No loose ends, Mike. Kelvin, I saved your life. I could have let you die in that coffee, Kelvin. Shh. You know your problem? You talk too much. Kelvin, Kelvin, you think I'm stupid? Kelvin, Kelvin, I have a backup plan. If anything happens to me, Kelvin, Chief Mesa, Chief Mesa is going to come and get you. Shut up. Shut up. Kelvin, shut up. Kelvin. Don't forget, you're already dead. And dead men don't talk. I know you got a bulletproof jacket on. But next time, get a face mask. Come in. Come in. Bye. Come in. No, no, no. No. Come in. no. Come in. Standing by. And she battles. He's proposing for a truce. A truce? Oh, so he's checking out so soon, huh? You propose a meeting at a neutral ground this evening. Do we attend? I will think about it. Meanwhile, keep guard and put your ears to the ground. Since Mike died, 
You are now fully responsible for my safety. You can rely on me, Chief. To death. Vulture decides to show its face. That is not good enough coming from an old friend. What do you expect from a man who lost his daughter in the hands of his arch enemy? I can understand your grievances, Mensa. This is not like the old times anymore. Things have changed. I don't have a hand in your daughter or your son in law's death. Go say that to the birds. I am saying it to you, Mensa. And if you don't believe me, I'm ready to take you gun for gun and fire for fire. But there'll be nothing to it. I'm not prepared to waste the life of my men for nothing. I don't have a hand in the death of your daughter or your son-in-law. Yes. And you expect me to take you by your words? You two timing double fist traitor? You can call me names if you want to. But I'm telling you the fact. Next time any of my men dies in your hand, I will take it personal, just like the old times. Go and investigate properly. Working words for solution. Things are not what they seem. This is not yet over. What's the problem? What do you mean by what's the problem? Tell me the truth, Kevin. What happened to the man that was here yesterday? Oh, oh. He traveled back to South Africa yesterday. South Africa, my ass. Take a look at this. 
Miss in South Africa, how come you were shot yesterday by a non gunman? How am I supposed to know? What if it's not even the man here? For all I know, the man that came here yesterday traveled back to South Africa last night. Then how could he have ended up dead in this evening's newspaper? But how am I supposed to know? Besides, I don't want to hear further nonsense from him. I have a long journey to make. Journey? Yes, journey. What long journey? To the village to say hello to my parents. Shot in Chief Badmo's compound on the night of the attack. I watched him die. Then how come that this newspaper report says that Mike was shot in far away Lagos instead of here in Port Harcourt? That's impossible, Chief. That's impossible. I saw Mike die myself right in Chief Badmo's compound. Jesus Christ. I even got a letter from an unknown person. The letter says that. Kelvin is alive and in Lagos with my missing money. Meanwhile, I witnessed Kelvin's burial. I mean, how? First, my daughter died. My money is missing. Mike is found dead in Faraway, Lagos, instead of here in Port Harcourt. Kelvin is in Lagos with my money. There is one way to find out. How? Let's go to the grave. So what? Let's go to the grave, Chief. Kelvin or Macri or whatever you call yourself. You think your poorest brains can play a fast one on me? We live for Lagos first thing tomorrow. If the information turns out to be true, spare no one. Let them know that the lion it's not a bet to toy with. Chief, why don't you relax and leave this mission to us? No. to look into the eyes of the man who killed my daughter when he dies. I am very proud of Kelvin. <laughs> oh dear. Is it true son of his Oh no. Mm -hmm. You back. Yes, sir. <laughs> I trust Kevin. That boy is very sensible. He is. If it were other boys, he would have become an arm robber. Hey, God forbid. That one is not in our blood. Mm -hmm. It's your honor. Mm -hmm. What sort of business does he do? Business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kevin is into everything. <laughs> into hey, everything. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Never in there, one Mwa, where are you coming from? I am from the church. I went to see the pastor for some special prayers. Prayers? Yeah. Special prayers? For what? Ichie, I don't like the kind of dreams I always have for Kevin. And the sort of vision the pastor... Damn, Ichie, you know. When he was suffering over there, 
Did any of you see vision or have dream for him? <laughs> huh? Now that he has gone to America and come back with dollars, you are now having vision. Special prayers. <laughs> Maybe you will tell him how to spend his hard earned dollars too. Oh. Hey, vision. Hey, Zuzu Puan Niru. Hey, <laughs> Um, look at, look at, look at that. Don't mind them. More one kitten. Enjoy yourselves, brothers. <laughs> we remember with their visions. Don't mind them. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Look at this, look at this boy. Send my messages. Did they find a guy messages? Mwaka. Kale wa. If I didn't turn my back down, they would have stolen this my messages now. They can never see this one. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, bro. Linda. Tom. Why would we be going back to Port Harcourt? Because with you, life has been very comfortable. <laughs> that would be in two days' time, when I finish business for Chief Mensa. Actually, I enjoy my stay too, but I can't help it. This is my business. <laughs> Darling, are we missing you? Same here, same here. <laughs> <laughs> Linda! Oh, what? No problem, I'm okay. Sure, no problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the nooks and crannies of this lake. I want him. Find him! Am I flat?
God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in everything we give thanks to the Lord. Brethren, we have gathered here today because of the sudden death of our sister, Amaka. This is not the best approach to this matter. There is always <coughs> two sides to every story. Then tell me the best approach to it. El Duco, do you know what it means to bury a young daughter? All I am saying is that what Kevin here told me is not the same thing that Nonso told me about Amaka's death. All I know is that I have told you the truth. I have told you the whole truth. Amaka was killed by robbers that came to rob my house. Lies! Lies, Kevin! Nonso! Nonso! You're gonna die for love with your Nonso, I want you to tell the elders here. It's what you know? No, wait! It is necessary. It is necessary. Let no son say his own side of the story. My elders. My elders. I was under Uncle Kelvin's car fixing his exhaust pipe when some men came in. I sensed trouble and I tried to stay put. The next thing I heard were gunshots. And that was when that was when Amaka was killed. Oh. Then I overheard one of the men saying that Uncle Kevin killed his daughter and stole his money in Ghana. That's not true. No, that is not true for God's sake. All my life I have been in Europe. How, when, when, when did I go to Ghana talking of killing somebody's daughter? I have told you the truth. Robbers killed a maka. What the heck are you telling people here? I did not kill a maka. She was killed by robbers. Uncle, she was killed Kevin. This is simple. There are so many things you can cover with tongues. Even with your male hands. But certainly not pregnancy. Yes. So, when you look, and the feathers of each kid will be lifted for the body to be exposed. Look, Uncle, I did. Look, I have told you, I have told you the whole Shut up! What is it? Leave me now. What is going on here? You or not? Nah. This boy got up this morning, packed his things, and said he's going to Kevin's house. He knows that uh, those people Kevin took their money. I'm still hunting him. Uncle, all I'm just going there to do is to collect my certificate and other credentials are left. I'm not here. going anywhere. But I need them to search for a job. Besides, my clothes are still in Lagos. I have to go and get them. And so, you are not going anywhere. I'm going. Instead, you will go there and get. Now, so I'm you have a point, but listen to your parents. Mm. Going back there is not safe for you under this situation. Uncle, I'm going. Me, I am going. You're not going Mama, leave my phone, sir. No, sir. Mama, leave my phone. No, sir. 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 You are going to be my witness before all the villagers. If anything happens, I'll be the last person to weep for that stupid, senseless, stubborn boy. Hey! No, sir! How do you expect me to stay? This place is no longer safe for me. First, I found out that the man that came looking for you here the other day is dead. But for God's sake, Sandra, I've already told you the truth. I didn't kill that man. I did not. Believe me. When will you tell me the truth about what you do and what you've done, Kelvin? When? Don't tell me, because I didn't kill him. 
the more I stay here, the more people will believe I'm involved in whatever it is you do. When you've sorted yourself out, you can come and look at me. Sandra, listen. No, Sandra, listen to me. Look. You don't, you don't understand. I know nothing about this guy's death, Sandra. Sandra, come back, please. Come back to me. Sandra! Sandra! some of things I left behind. Now take it and get the hell out of the fire. Lose my temper. Mensa's daughter is avenged. Let's go. Many are they? Four in number. I want them all dead. It's going to cost you a lot. It's going to be a massacre. Two hundred thousand per head. I'll throw in one hundred thousand naira if you do a clean job. I'm a professional. I take my job seriously. You're paying the full payment tonight in the start of the job. You see, they're always coming to look you up in your house. Every night. Every other night. Good. I'll use their own trap. Let them come. I'll be waiting.
Widows. You betrayed Chief Mensa. You killed Rosalind and Mike. You're a fool! Shut the fuck up! You talk too much. Now listen to me, Tony. I have no business with you. Go in peace. But tell Chief Mensa to back off! Kill me. <laughs> Go ahead. Kill me. Kill me. Bastard. your death. He faked mine too. He told you that he killed me, but he lied to you. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. It was not my intention to hurt you nor your father. Hmm. My stepfather, you mean? Ever since he killed my mother to steal her money, I've looked for a way to pay him back. Listen to me. It was not my idea to, to hurt you. It was Mike's idea. Believe me, all I wanted was the money. I wanted the money, Rosa, nothing more. You've got to be. Mike. Yes. He told me about it. <laughs> He's my secret love. Mike. Kevin. I trailed you down to Lagos. You were busy spending my money, buying cars, giving my own money. I would have killed you a long time ago, you know. But then I realized that Mike, Mike wanted to make away with his share. He too betrayed me. I stayed in the dark, watching everything. You're a very clever man, Kevin. But you have to pay! Don't be fast, young lady. Go with the gun. Listen to me. No one wins in the game that I play. Except me. You died once. Have to die again. Shut up. <clears throat> My control is just over, Mr. Kelvin. I have a new one now. So die, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. I thought you were going to shoot me. I only kill those that I'm paid to kill. Businessman.
No one has paid me to kill you. But the day someone does, sweetheart, you're dead, mate. We'll meet again. Maybe as friends or as enemies. Rest in pieces, Kevin. I knew people 